Heaven is a wonderful place. But heaven can be only obtained through Jesus Christ. Heaven is a place of no pain and no sorrow. But you don't get to heaven unless you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Heaven is a place where there's no aging and there's no sin. But you don't get to heaven except through Jesus Christ. Heaven is where God is. And you don't get to God except through Jesus Christ. Heaven, there's no death. There's no dying. But there's no heaven without Jesus. There's no pain and suffering in heaven. But there's no heaven outside of Jesus Christ. You don't go to the perfect place of peace, heaven, by rejecting God, Jesus Christ. That Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures that that is life and life is through Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone to go to a place of perfect peace is through Jesus Christ a place of no death no dying, no separation, no loss is only through Jesus Christ and no one and nothing else. There is no other means. There is no other hope than the blessed hope that is in Jesus Christ. God cannot let you into heaven without the way to heaven. God cannot let you through the back door of heaven where there is no back door. There's no gate of heaven called religion. There's no entrance called baptism. The door into heaven is through the door of Jesus Christ. You will not end up in heaven by not trusting Jesus. Jesus is the mandatory way into heaven. Jesus Christ is the standard into heaven. Jesus Christ is the satisfaction of God into heaven. And without Jesus Christ, it's hell. Hell is a place of torment, and heaven is a place of peace. And heaven's obtained through Jesus. And hell is granted 
with you without Jesus. The Bible says God is not willing that any should perish. God has done all he could for you to be saved. Hey, how you doing? Good, how you doing? Hey, I'm Rick. How you doing? How you doing, Rick? Styling. Thanks, thanks for what you're doing, man. Amen. What church you in? We're down in uh, uh, Oak Hill, Anchor Baptist Church, but this has been, this is a Hayward family ministry. We've been doing it for years. Yeah, yeah, you know, I, I, uh, 40, 45 years ago, I was uh, into drugs, alcohol, jail, hitchhiking across the country as a hippie guy, and uh, I heard the audible voice of God call my name, and, and that's the, and, and I went into Dave Wilkerson's Scene Challenge, I went into Bible school, uh, I got saved, never been the same, I, I new creature. Yeah, I, I, uh, I had a very abusive father that literally threw me into walls and stuff, and I have forgiven him now, but Amen. he's gone on to be with the Lord, Thank, thankfully he made it, but but uh, my story, because I'm kind of evangelistic too, I, I most people that hear the gospel, they're turned off of it, because here, here's what they hear when they hear I'm not saying don't yeah. preach. I'm just I'm just giving you my little story yeah. of what I've learned. Uh, people, when when we just preach, repent, turn to God, they 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 see because I I'm I'm a, I'm a counselor too. Uh, I, I I take people back into their childhood memories and heal those memories of father issues. But but a lot of people see they hate the church and hate preachers because they see a father. With another law, another rule, wagging his finger in their face. So, so I try to present. And I'm not saying you're yeah. wrong. I'm not trying to yeah. say you're, you're. You're. I'm gonna thank God that they, there's somebody out here doing this. Yep. But uh, I'm just trying to paint a little picture. Uh, that it's maybe, one of many ministries. Yeah, many ministries. So, yep. so I, I used to follow a guy named Jack Frost. Not Jack Frost looking at you. Yeah. Guys. He was a fisherman here, but he, he had a ministry for many years. He passed away of cancer and stuff. But um teaching the Father heart of God. A lot of people know God as God Almighty that's going to send you to hell if you don't repent. But, but they don't it's know true. Him. because, And they think of it as their subconsciously, because they do counseling, yep. they, they, they think of God as their father, as their mother. Uh, their father never had time. He was cold, uh, mostly abandoned. And they think of God subconsciously. It's like triggering in their memory. Yep. So, so I try to uh, just like a, this, those people at the back here, I, I found love of the Lord to share, share the gospel of what I'm, I'm saying to you yeah. a little bit, like just the Father. Well, that's, that's what we're, do, we're told to preach the gospel. Yeah. And we're told to preach hell. Because that's not in your churches today. Yeah. <laughs> and the audience we have here, 99% of them, they're lost. And they got to know, you know what, there's a hell. Um, and Jesus is the only way. Outside of your religion, outside of whatever you believe, yeah, yeah, and it's it's one of many ministries. Yeah, yeah. Like my daughter, she passes out the gospel tracts. Yeah, I lead good. gospel tracts and try to you know open a Bible some way. I used to pass device. those out years ago. I didn't know they were still around. Yeah. Well, I haven't seen those in years. I used to have stacks of those chick chick tracts. Yeah, I love the chick tracts because yeah. I, I, there's the other tracts, but Americans are too lazy to read. Yeah, yeah, that's and true. they need to be entertained. Yeah, and chick tracks entertain. Yeah, that's true. You're very right about that. I mean, I'm not against fellowship tracks. I'm not against those work good overseas where people will actually read them. Yeah, Americans. <laughs> and then you're good. You know, and sorry, you're getting an age of Americans today. They don't even know how to read. I know it's right. It's a drive-through society. Like, so, I mean, I preach hell because it's where are you going to go unless you believe on Jesus and. Let the Holy Spirit work in the hearts. I know many people don't like it, but they gave Jesus a cross. Now, uh, what about this too? Just I'm just throwing out. I'm not again. I'm not yeah. saying you, you're wrong because there's you need both sides. Yeah, I, I see do where you, both sides. you need because hell is a, is a real one. Yep. Jesus preached hell. Like, the, the and, man and in this ministry, uh, you you get you you 
get a lot. It just depends when you show up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I do like, uh, I will preach John 3.16 where it says, you know what? It says, for God so loved the world. Well, that's the love of God. Yeah. Okay? The love of God is Jesus. And then he says he gave. Well, that's charity. Yeah, yeah. So in one verse, you got the love and you got the charity. Yeah. And then I'll say something like, well, how are you going to outgive God when he gave himself? So it, it, I preach. There's times I preach all the greatness of heaven. Yeah. Then I'll preach all the badness of it, comparing to. It's when you show up. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, yeah it's balancing. I That's get. I get yeah, and the and the vendors here, they get it all. And the, the ones that walk by, I never see again. When I see like new faces, what I'm preaching, then I'll, I'll go to one Bible verse. Especially when I see kids. I'll go, the Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. I stress that. Yeah, when yeah. I see new faces, right? you're not just getting hell. You're getting Jesus' as a salvation. Yeah, yeah. So you'll hear hell, you'll hear heaven, but I want to make sure you hear Jesus is the salvation. You get both here, definitely. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's, that's good. Cause they, they, there's, there's... Today is a hell day. Yeah, well... <laughs> this is what it seems to be. You never know. You know, we, we do. We've done counseling for uh, 10 years. Uh, God is, God's kind of counseling we do is, not, I don't really like to call it counseling, I call it healing ministry of the inner man, yep. of the brokenness, because so many kids are, are they, they're good kids, but here's what I what I teach, I'm a teacher of the, of the Word of God also, but uh, the number one thing a child needs is not a roof over their head, not, not food and yeah. clothing, but third world country. Uh, the, the, well, number one thing, even if they're, even if you don't preach Jesus, they're, 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 and forgive me if uh, I don't mean to offend anybody, but, but I, I believe that even if a kid is not raised in an ungodly home, if they get affirmation, affection, and adoration, they will be more open to the gospel than anybody because God is love. And he created in his image and likeness of love. And then with that, we have a we have we do have a God of judgment. Oh yeah, definitely. And we do have the penalty of hell. Oh yes, definitely. I mean, that's the only reason. On April twenty fifth, nineteen, that's the only reason why I got hell. I got saved. Oh, really? I didn't want to go to hell. Yeah, yeah. That, that's, that's it. That's why I got saved that's too. It. That's I why to, I got saved. My father want, really put that into me. And what you got to <laughs> tell these people, and the preaching of hell is. We're in a religious society today. Oh, well, there is no hell, but there is. Yeah, Jesus, Luke 13, yeah. And he preached it. there are people who there, there are people who have died or are going to die. How you doing, buddy? All right, you? You doing good? I, I, do I know you? You look familiar. Yeah, somewhere. What's your uh, name? Michael. Michael what? Daniels. Did you used to go to Daytona City Church? No. Did you, did you ever know Rodney and Kathy Collins? Look real familiar for something. That's one of them twins in the world. Michael, who? <laughs> yeah. You ever heard of the banyan tree? Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. Well, that's the same spelling. Yeah, banyas. Yeah. He looks familiar. Well, my, my niece married a banyan. My cousin married a banyan. Huh? But they're not here. They're in Oklahoma. So probably Get out of here. Really? Yeah, Brennan. Yeah, you know Brennan? I met you somewhere before. Yeah. yeah. You know, I'm private. I'm, I'm Rick Watts. Watts. I'm that guy. I'm Rick Watts. <laughs> Rick, how you doing? Yeah, yeah we, uh, we used to live in Daytona at one time, but we moved to the lab over spend the weekend here. But we used to live here too, but we moved to Ormond, you know, oh, not okay. that far, but you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, nice to meet you yeah, anyway. Again, <laughs> have a good day. <laughs> okay, okay, the biggest deception for many people, they're going to die. They're going to wake up in hell thinking they did right. Yeah, right. That's the hardest That's deception. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm one of them people, I'm against say this prayer. You better know where, you, where you're going. You better know salvation laid out. And the very first thing when you're out in the world, you better know there's a hell. Yeah. That's what, Jesus pre preached more about hell. And, like I said, this is one of my many ministries to deal with people. Right here, we want you to know preach the gospel, we preach heaven, we preach hell. That's real. Yeah. You gotta have a balance. And you gotta have a balance. Some of these people, the only, the only hell they hear is go to hell. <laughs> they think it's a joke. Yeah. 
That's one of the things I'll say is, you know, man tells you to go to hell, but we will tell you how not to go to hell. Because you don't want God to tell you to go to hell. That's permanent. Some people are just numb to the gospel. They've heard it so many times they become numb to it. So. Actually, today, no. Back back in the time, yeah, so everybody heard the gospel. Not today. There are people today who don't even know who Jesus is. Yeah, yeah. Because the parents aren't teaching them, yeah. yeah. And the they churches become, ain't teaching them. Yeah, they become, the parents have become numb to it, so they're not teaching they them. They don't again. even know who their parents are. Yeah. We're having a generation of children today with no father. Yeah. So they don't know who a heavenly father is. And yeah, you know, we preach hell and all that. Well, you know what? I grew up in a time when I was a bad boy. I got my butt whipped. <laughs> yeah, and you don't too. have that today. Yeah. And you got to realize that loving God, he loves me so much. But if you don't do what he tells you to do, his authority, yeah, you're, you're in trouble. It. You're going to burn it down for all of you. But there, then there's other people that need, they, they just need someone to pray with yeah. them, to know. Hey, I understand the pain yep. you're going through. Let me pray for you. That's what these gospel tracks get out and do. Yeah. And yeah. We have many people like you come up and, you know, pray for me or, uh, you know, well, we're glad you're here. We, we hate you. I mean, we get a lot of it. I mean, we get three aspects of people here. We get people <laughs> oh, yeah. just don't care. Yeah. yeah. They go back. We get people, hey, we love you. Yeah. We get people, we, yeah, we just had the cops come up earlier. You're too loud. <laughs> They're too loud. My neighbors on the street are too loud. But, you know, you got to shut the preacher up. But <laughs> that's, that's the world. Right. Jesus said, marvel not, the world hates you. Yeah. So, uh, and well, God, got, God's given me a voice to be loud, to be a preacher, and call upon. Well, I encourage you to pray, pray for people. Offer a prayer. Yeah. Say, if anybody needs prayer, come out up here right now. Because yeah. you, you evidently have an evangelistic anointing. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if that you're a five-fold ministry evangelist. Not because I don't know you, but, you know. Could possibly be in that five fold, you know, there's five fold apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, teacher. Yeah. You could possibly, because you have that desire, you could possibly have that anointing as an evangelist. If you yeah. do, I've seen God open some pray. great door. We used to be down by the baseball park. Oh, yeah, yeah, I and remember then, that, yeah. What God has opened up here now, we've had we've had many legal battles. Shut me up. I've yeah. been threatened by the police to be arrested. Yeah, they don't like that. And the lawyers come along. And, hey, you can't stop them. And these signs here, if you read them, they're for me. Those signs, but the farmer's market rules, they were put there to stop me. But the law says, no, you, you can't stop them. You're coming over out your speaker. Everybody, yeah. Everybody's hearing you. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that's what they were saying. You're too loud today. And God's been so gracious that... Well, I bless you. I better get going. Hey, hey. My wife and I were uh, just spending the weekend here, uh, just uh, house sitting for somebody, and thought we'd come by. Yeah, we used to visit the farmers market when it was down there. Yeah, we we've been things, here. Yeah. We've been with the farmers market. I think it's going on seven years. All right, all right. Well, thank you for what you're doing. God Amen. bless you. Bless your ministry. Hey, right, Jack. You have a good I day. Just even pray over you that that uh, that you'll begin to flow uh, with with the evangelistic. Anointing of, of, of the gifts of healings, working of miracles, and the gift of faith because evangelists uh, flows that when, when, when they pray for people, people instantly get healed and delivered, demons come out. I looked up, I got my prayer list, a lot of people here. I mean, I got some people I don't know, I, you know, they're the, they're the honey people. Oh, yeah, the honey people. Yes. And then, or they got, you know, this, you know, I lift all these people in prayer, even the ones that hate us. That's awesome. <laughs> You don't know what God can do. Yep, amen. Well, bless you, my brother. Amen. You guys Thank have you. a good day now. Thank you. For the wages of sin is death. We're sinners. For the Bible says, for all have sinned. That's me and that's you. We're sinners. In order to be right and get right with God, God has set forth a standard. And the standard is the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. 
There's nothing that cleanses sin but the blood of Jesus Christ. Now don't go run into another sinner man called a priest. Another sinner is not going to absolve your sin. I mean, that's like taking my car that's muddy and going to a mud pile to clean my car of mud with mud. You're not going to end up with a clean car. In order to be cleansed of your sins, you've got to come to the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. And only through the Lamb of God can you be saved. There's no other way. For Jesus said he is the way. And if it's anything else in your belief, You've been deceived. Because if it's not Jesus Christ, it's not the way of God. If it's not Jesus Christ, it's not salvation. It's hell. When the Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved, that's the only way to get to heaven. I'm glad you're happy. Jesus Christ can solve all sins, including gay and liars and fornicators and adulterers. Jesus Christ can cleanse us of all sins. The Lamb of God will take away the sin of the world. You can be cleansed. You can be washed by the blood of Jesus Christ. You can call upon God today and be saved. It's not church. It's not a baptism. It's faith and trust in Jesus. And without the faith and trust in Jesus, you are hopeless. For the Bible calls Jesus the blessed hope. God's way. Jesus said, He is the way. There is a heaven and there is a hell. And you get to heaven through Jesus. You can go to heaven. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And that life is in the son. And the son is Jesus Christ.
God is not willing. God does, want, does not want you to go to hell. In that he sent his son. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life, and that everlasting life is in the gift of God. For the gift of God is eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Now be forewarned, because there's other Jesuses out there. The devil and man has provided other ways. And the ways of Satan and the ways of man our deception and the way of God through Jesus is the way the truth and the life that is the only way to have access to God God is a merciful God. God is a holy God. And God is Jesus Christ. And the Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. God cannot allow sin into heaven. And all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. There is nothing else. There is no one else than Jesus Christ. 